The important thing to remember when you're in the small business community is that we are the major employer in the state of Michigan. And so we deserve a voice. And before SBAM, there was no voice. And as SBAM grew, the voice got larger and larger. I think we were born out of frustration in some ways that public policy was, was happening, tax policy, other kinds of issues that affected small business without a small business voice at the table. And I think what they envisioned for the Small Business Association of Michigan was a influential, maybe even powerful voice for small business in the public policy arena. 27,000 Michigan member companies were the largest group in the country. It's a force for making positive changes in Michigan public policy. Growing influence intentionally, having a seat at the table, and knowing what we're talking about when it comes to these policy issues has really played out very well for, for our members and for small businesses across the state. I can think of two examples where SBAM has taken the lead on creating a pro-small business environment in Michigan. The first is the repeal of the outrageous small business tax, or as I like to call it, the simply because tax. It was SBAM that led that charge. It was SBAM that carried the ball over the goal line. The other is the repeal of the sales tax on service. It was SBAM who put it together a coalition to fight that tax and ultimately get it repealed. We had to talk to legislators, we had to talk to senators, congressmen, all those, and say, look, here, here are the consequences, and in some case, unforeseen consequences of this legislation. Those fights, those battles, those conflicts uh, were all led by SBAM. Having our membership directly and actively engaged in public policy is the difference between us and a lot of other advocacy groups. We are the resource that stays involved, stays engaged, tracks the legislation, and looks to see how it will affect the majority of our members and then make decisions based on that. It's good to know that SBAM is the voice for us small business owners inside the Capitol. Every time we meet, there's always something they're fighting for. SBAM's voice is respected in Lansing and it's heard. SBAM is incredible in the state of Michigan, in many cases even more incredible on the national scope of things. I think one of the benefits a person can really get from being a member of SBAM is the tremendous networking opportunities. And I'm not just talking about the grip and grin at a, at a meeting or at an event after hours. I'm talking about real problem solving by connecting with people who are in your shoes, who are going through the same thing that you're going through. Being a business owner, especially a small business owner, can be lonely. I didn't know who to go to, I didn't know who to ask for questions, you know, I had family and friends to, to lean on, but I didn't know about the Small Business Association of Michigan when I first started my company and I wish I did. We get together at the Leadership Council events, we get together at regional owner-to-owner -owner events. I, I mean, some of my dearest friends right now are other small business owners that I've met through SBAM. It has just been truly one of my career highlights to meet the people that I have, to experience the things that I have been able to experience because of SBAM. I have 27,000 business owners I can tap into. It's that organic camaraderie that happens when you bring A-type business owners together that are all swimming the same direction and all kind of need the same thing but have dissimilar stories sometimes. We're always working to bring to the table new ideas to fit the needs of what businesses have today. The health insurance and payroll and all of the issues that you deal with with the running of the business, SBAM has resources, has services, has products to, to help with just about every one of those needs for a small business. Joining SBAM and becoming more involved, it really was one of the smartest things I've ever done. Happy 50th birthday is a big deal. That's a big deal. We made it 50 years, growing steadily throughout 50 years. The best part of what SBAM has to offer is what's coming. This is not about the organization, and I think all of the leaders in SBAM would say that. It's about the business owners that either benefit from it or make it up through the membership, and it's powerful. They were way ahead of the curve, because who knew that Michigan would be where it is today relative to small business? Really, small businesses are like the, the good guys of, of the business world. There's a tremendous amount of goodwill, but also determination and perseverance and creativity and innovation, and you bring all of that together in a way that really only SBAM can do, it creates 
a force for good in making public policy. I just see bigger and better things coming out of small business. I would love to be here 50 years from now talking about the same level or better an achievement from where we started in 1969. I think Michigan is going through a renaissance and I think SBAM is going to be an important part of that. You know, we need a scrappy organization to be successful and that's what SBAM is. Great for the state of Michigan, it's great for small business, and it's so critical to be involved because I know we are making a difference.